how to flash official stock chrome onto your samsung galaxy device hello everybody welcome back to the channel i update droid in today's video we are going to be learning how we can flash the official stock room on our samsung galaxy device that originally came with our phone so make sure to watch the video till the end now maybe you had actually installed a custom room or maybe you booted some other rooms that does not belong to your original firmware and in that case you might want to just go ahead and roll back to your official firmware and which means to flash the stock room now by doing this i'm already show that you've already unlocked your bootloader because if you're trying to go ahead and then flash a stock room you must have already unlocked your bootloader now there are a couple of things that we need over here so first let us divide this video into multiple parts first of all we have to make sure to choose a correct download file which means to download the ROM the other thing that we are going to do is we're going to boot into download mode and then after that we will download Odin and then flash this stock room so without any further ado let's get started and move on to our computer screen so on our computer what we have to do is we actually need to go ahead and then basically download the stock firmware right so in order to download our official software we have to go to samfw.com now there are also many other sites that are available but i'm just using this one for today's video over here you just have to simply make sure to enter your device name or model code now my device name is s20 plus so i can simply find that and find the one corresponding to my model or i can simply go ahead and then actually enter the code over here and then i'll be able to see my device you also have to make sure to find the correct device after you do that you will set this type of little pop-up and then you will be able to see all of the rooms that are available now once we've searched for our model we will simply scroll down a bit further below and we will see all of the countries that are available now you simply need to type in your particular country over here as well and once you type in a country you'll find your country over here and you'll find all of these software and versions that are corresponding over here now remember that if you choose the latest one you cannot downgrade later on to the previous one so the ones over here are the latest one you will see the build date 2023 1201 and you will see the android version and you will see the build date along with the baseband number or the baseband version over here so you want to make sure to simply go ahead and click any of these and then make sure to simply download your stock room now after we have downloaded it because in my case i have already downloaded it i'm simply going to open this particular file manager and here you can see i've already downloaded it now before this also you need to make sure to download the usb driver i'll make sure to drop a link below and then you want to simply make sure to install your usb drivers i'm not going to get into that after that you need to make sure to download odin which is the official tool to flash stock room on our samsung galaxy devices which will also be in the description box and the third is the room which i just taught you how to download so you have to go ahead and then simply make sure to also extract the rom file by right clicking going to winrar and just going to the extract to option over here and this process could take typically take a while so as you can see the firmware have been successfully extracted and these are the files that you'll find inside of it now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and then open up our odin and then just double click the odin tab and now we have to first boot our samsung galaxy device into download mode so let us move on back to our phone again now after we have installed all the necessary files on our computer and that we are on Odin, we have to connect our phone which is our Samsung Galaxy device into download mode by using a cable. So first of all, no matter whichever room you are in, just make sure to power off your device and then you need to make sure to have a cable now in my case mine is basically a type c cable on my s20 plus where the other end should actually be connected to your computer so make sure that it is a very good cable just so that you want to avoid issues later on now to boot into download mode most of the flagships and mid ranges these days have a simple process that is to simply press the volume up and the volume down buttons together while pressing and holding those buttons together not the power button only volume up and volume down you want to make sure to connect the cable where the other end has to be connected to your computer so i'm just going to connect this like this over here and as i do that i'm going to see this type of little pop-up that says volume up continue volume up long press so we have to do volume up continue just a single tap here and then we will boot into download mode now on our computer on odin it will successfully show added so let us move on back into our computer screen again 
After you connect your Samsung Galaxy device with a cable on download mode, on Odin, you'll find this little button that says added. If you don't find this option and if you don't see this, it means that your drivers are not installed properly and make sure to install the drivers. Try in a different USB port, try a different cable. If you don't see this, you cannot do this process. So just keep that in mind. Now we have to simply select all the respective files. So first of all, let's select BL over here and let's just head over to the folder where we happen to extract that particular room file right so go to that and first of all select the bl file after we select the bl file we have to simply select all the other corresponding models so now we're simply going to go to ap and select this particular ap file here as well and after we've done that we're going to do the same for cp and the csc as well after the ap file has also been selected just head over to the cp file and select the cp file now the final part is a bit confusing here you can say csc so you select csc but you have got two more files left which is home csc and csc now i would recommend you use a normal csc home csc simply means that it is not going to reset a samsung galaxy device which means it is going to dirty install it and in that case you could face issues later on since we want to do a completely clean flash we will simply select the normal csc version now there are a couple of things that we want to check over here after we also happen to select the csc file just go to options and you can turn on auto reboot and you can turn on f reset time do not check any of the other options just leave it as it is and after that just go to the log tab back again now just hit the start button and this process could also typically take a while so make sure that if you face any issues just try it again with a different usb port and a different cable and then we're going to come back after all of this odin process that has been successfully flashed Now Odin says pass which means that our stock room has been successfully flashed which means in this case now we can simply move back to our mobile screen. So now our stock room has been successfully flashed and now it is safe for us to basically remove the cables and then our stock room will get booted into the home screen after you complete the setup process. So this was it for today's video on how you can get back to your original stock firmware and then just flash the official room. Hope this video was very helpful. If you have got any questions then feel free to also leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching till the very end. Stay subscribed. I will also also keep on uploading more videos so thanks for watching and see you in the next one